I, so I got the wheels back. These are the 215.45, I mean 215.40. Pretty, pretty dusty too. It's been left in here for a while. And then um, I'm gonna try fitting on the, the rear first to see if there's any rust. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, lower the Rev9 callovers. Okay, so what you wanna do is just release this, untighten this one, and then you just basically have to roll this one. You just have to turn it. Then that will eventually work. Okay, so once you got it loose, just roll up to like the height you want. So me, like I'm probably just gonna need a little bit more, but like a, uh, uh, I'll just say about an inch. So just you know, roll up to measure here and here, and you know, to see what the measurement is, and then turn this part. <coughs> Can't be turned. Come on. Okay, so I, I couldn't move with my hands, so I'm just gonna tighten it down with my uh, the wrench that they provided. So only use the top bracket. Uh, come on. Do it till this one goes. Um, do it till this part here goes down to this part. Don't know what it's called, but I'm still doing it. Yeah, see, it's turning the whole thing. Yep. Okay, I'll show you guys when I'm uh, down there. Okay, so I dropped it about half an inch, and the gap here I got is uh, close to a uh, three quarter. Close enough, yeah, close there, so that's how low I'm gonna go. And then yeah, I'm just gonna tighten everything up, put the wheel back, put those wheels back on, and then show you guys. Okay, so I just fit, finish uh, tightening everything up. I'm gonna show you guys when, um, how it looks when lowering it. Ooh, ooh. A little bit lower, so uh, I think that should be good. Or maybe go a little bit lower. Yeah, I think that should be good. Just gonna leave it right there. Okay, guys, never mind. I adjusted it a little bit more lower. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Okay, I like this better. About two finger and a half, a little bit. Not, not th fully three, but two fingers should be good. Yep. And I'm gonna stick with this. Looks nice. Okay, just finished this one. I decided to just unfold the stuff so I could turn it faster. And then I dropped it about three inches. And then I'll show you guys what it looked like once it's dropped. Okay, from the look of this, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any rub on it. Someone hit me there. Finish adjusting the coils and new and I put on the other rims. Ooh. Yeah. I finished uh, installing the coilovers and lowered it way much lower and but the problem is is rubbing on the coils so what I'm gonna do is uh, I got these um, spacers to put it on see if that will fix the problem okay so here's my spacers I'm gonna be putting on just eight millimeters so that's your, that's all everything and I um, adjust a little bit I put it up a little bit higher and I'll show you guys when it's done okay so this side is good to go, and one more side left. Other side is still, it was, it's still rubbing. So I'm gonna put that spacer on and let you guys know. So this side it was rubbing, but it, it didn't do much like the other side. Look at that, just li uh, less than the other side. And on here it just a little chip like that. Um, put a spacer and then probably solve everything. Okay, see you guys when it's done. So everything is now done. It's more lowered and already tightened up the bolts i'm gonna drive and see if it rubs i mean if it rubs again the coils or anything other than that i was um here rubbing the fender or whatnot but look at that yep Blow nice wheels
this is it for my video there it is hope you guys uh, like the wheels i'll leave the description below uh where you can get them and the tire size yep and stay tuned for my next video thanks for watching and see you guys in the next